the AA show is a very friendly place to work in. I would think the people here are great, particularly you know um, my Aboriginal um, colleagues and um, non-Aboriginal colleagues as well, and we've become good friends over the years. I think that's one most important thing about working at the AA show is the people. I enjoy working for the AHO uh, because it's the atmosphere, um, the, the different cultures um, that works for the organisation, um, and it's like your family. So that's, I'm, I'm passionate about it and I love being here. If you're passionate about your culture um, and you want to make a real difference, come and work for the AHO because um, it, it gives you that sense of pride. Um, and you do make a change and you see it not only in um, elders but in, in the younger generation that's coming up. So you know that you're making a real difference for the young fellows coming up. The only thing I knew about the Aboriginal Housing Office was that um, I lived in one of the properties. So I did my research and I was stoked about having an interview. Um, the, my interview panel made me feel comfortable and I sat there and I, I walked out feeling really confident. I got the call that day and I started at AHO the next day. AHO is a smaller component of housing, so I get to do a broad range of finance activities that you probably wouldn't get to do when you're working for a larger organisation. Um, so I look at all facets and, you know, it's budgets, it's, you know, dealing with treasury on a daily basis, um, dealing with all the directors. I really enjoy it. Um, my director's excellent. I've learned a lot from him. I also feel that the directors here are, you know, they're really good to learn from and mentor, you know, great mentors. One of the reasons I chose to work at the AHA was to um, develop the Aboriginal Housing Information Service which gave access and equal opportunity for people to seek housing within New South Wales. I enjoy the job satisfaction, being, a, being able to help our community to um, move forward with their housing within New South Wales. The Aboriginal Housing Office, it's become innovative in the way of its thinking for the future and I think it's giving us a better opportunity to um, help our local community. I would support anyone applying for a position in the Aboriginal Housing Office as I think it's a great career opportunity. It assists our community in moving forward. The best thing about working with the AHA is that it is family orientated. Not only that, it's the work that I do. It's really very challenging. It actually gives me an opportunity to work in a number of areas, so it's I'm not really focused on the work that I do, but the chance for me to go out, to talk to the community. And the first thing that actually comes across to me is the atmosphere, the friendly, the warm out atmosphere, the people, the executive as well, because they, they have that welcoming spirit kind of thing that it makes you feel that you're part of the family, and the opportunity for you to grow professionally and personally. I think that's the best thing. I think one of the reasons that I came to work at the AHO was I was really interested and passionate about working with Aboriginal communities to ensure that as a government agency and a statutory authority we could provide opportunity through housing and through using our assets for better outcomes for people and communities. I would say, um, are you passionate? Are you driven? Uh, do you like to work in an innovative space? Uh, well, for me personally, are you excited about policy? I'm always after policy professionals and also graduates who are interested in working not only in Aboriginal affairs, but uh, in the Aboriginal Housing Office. It's an exciting time for Aboriginal affairs generally in New South Wales. So for us, that actually provides an opportunity to work with a lot of partner agencies and to understand broadly across government, where are the best opportunities for us to make a difference? <coughs> I think we like to have fun. Uh, we also celebrate our achievements. We also like to work within a challenging environment, uh, but we also recognise each other's skills and abilities, and we all share a, a common commitment. AHO is in a transition mode, and we are on the path to building a new and unique organisation. So I would say that if you are willing to work hard, um, are passionate about you know, Indigenous uh, self-determination, and really are looking for a challenging environment to work, then I think AHO can offer great opportunities to you. We're looking for people who actually do believe they want a future in um, helping Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people housing. Therefore, we recognise as an organisation, we need to build careers in the organisation. So, you know, we are hoping that if you are even sort of 
from the community. We can bring you into the organisation, develop your skills in community engagement, in team building, in leadership um, and strategic uh, planning and project management and these are the skills that we believe will enable you to move on a career path whether inside AHO which we'd love to keep you but also within the public sector of New South Wales. What's unique about the Aboriginal Housing Office is it has its own act, uh, its own Aboriginal board and its focus is primarily on Aboriginal housing which is a passionate area for me to work in. Look, it's personal for me um, because as an Aboriginal person and I've seen the impact of housing has on Aboriginal families and you know um, my grandmother for example who who tried uh, for so long to be uh, get access to housing and uh, in actual fact was, was in her whole life was never able to get access to that, that housing and I think from a personal perspective, that's the thing that's really driven me. Um, being in a position I'm in and working for an organisation like the AHO, I think can really, really make a difference. One of the most important things at the AHO is our cultural connections to community and people. And, and so we know that there's significant events um, that happen throughout the year and uh, it's really important from uh, the AHO's perspective that we actually celebrate those because they are they are both important milestones in the achievements of Aboriginal people, um, um, hardships that Aboriginal people have overcome, and they all resonate with the goals the AHO is trying to achieve. So um, our cultural aspect is very, and that's for anyone who works in the AHO. I think we've got a great atmosphere in our organisation and we're, we're evolving, we're changing over time, and um, it, it's just gonna get better and better. So um, yeah, it's, a, it's a great place to work. Yeah. Housing is so important to our people, you know, it's a key component to self-determination and access to other services like education and health and all those other services that you need to exist and this is a real chance to help the mob and um, come along, we're a great team of people in here and um, very highly skilled, um, professional, um, passionate people and um, great fun to work with. It's mandatory for everybody in um, the AHO, whether you are Aboriginal or non-Aboriginal, to undertake cross-cultural awareness training. Um, we will be building culture, the cultural capacity of the department by um, offering this training and it's going to be almost like lifelong learning while you're in the organisation. Um, the first training will be online, then we'll have a face-to-face -face session, then after you complete that, um, you go on site training. And then what we want to do is get um, head office staff immersed in what our regional um, staff do as well. And, um, and also bringing in speakers. And it's, it's a lifelong learning while you're in the AHO. And we want a really, really culturally, a diverse but culturally competent AHO.